Hello, Assalamu alaikum. In previous classes, we have been talking about JavaScript functions. Now, we continue from there and we discuss various different operators that are used within JavaScript that allows us to perform multiple different functions. My name is Dr. Dushan Buddy. If you're here for the first time, kindly don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you receive these updates uh, regularly. Let's begin. Now, uh, when we talk about what we call operators, operators are basically simply operators that allows us to do function on certain expression. For example, using an expression called 4 plus 5 is equal to 9, right? Simple expression. Here, 4 and 5 are known as operands and plus is what operator is, okay? Uh, similarly, Java language supports the following type of operators. Arithmetic operators, comparison operators, logical operators, and what we call assignment operators. Along with this, we have something called conditional or ternary operators. Okay. Now, what do we again mean by operators? Operators are basically those symbols that perform various different tasks. 4 and 5 here basically behave like values, like data, technically known as operands. So, 4 and 5 basically are the values of the data. They can be variables as well. Uh, these variables are basically connected or they are used using certain operators. And various different operators have various different tasks, as we will discuss right now. So, for example, if we begin with arithmetic operators, arithmetic operators are basically operators that perform a simple mathematical values or mathematical calculation. Okay. These operators are known as plus, minus, multiply, divide, percentage, increment operator with double plus and double minus represents decrement operator. Plus, as we all know, adds two values, minus uh, does the subtraction, multiplication, division and again the very simple and easy operands. We have been using these mathematical operators for a very long time. So let's not go into very minor detail within it. Comparison operators now. Comparison operators are basically typical operators that are used to compare two values of a variable or two variable values of an operand. Okay. Uh, basically, for example, if you consider a, a variable A that holds value 10 and variable B that holds value 20, then these are the various different comparison operators that we use to compare the value of two operands. Okay. Uh, they are usually represent answer in form of true and false. Uh, comparison basically means that they compare the value whether the variable A holds the value which is comparable with respect to variable B. Okay, or it can be operands as well. And in this case, we have equal to operator, not equal to operator, greater than operator, less than operator, and uh, greater than equal to and less than equal to. These are six major different operate uh, comparison operators that are available within JavaScript operators. Again, these have been available in C++, in Java, in uh, if you are using Visual Studio, Visual.net, PHP, mostly you would find every single programming languages tend to use these cooperators exactly in the same way. A double equal to means that the value of operand A and value of operand B is exactly the same. The value not equal to, which is this operator here, basically this means that this operator value is exactly, uh, if I go back, sorry, and hold a pen, uh, let me give it a pen, okay. This one here, this basically means not equal to, means that A is not equal to B, okay, and equal to means this operator is equal to B. Then we have greater than sign means A is greater than B or the less than sign, which basically means A is less than B, okay. Similarly, uh, a less than equal to and greater than equal, greater than equal to and less than equal to. So these are what we refer to as uh, comparison operators. Now, logical operators. Logical operators are basically... Um, additional variables, additional operands in JavaScript that allows us to evaluate certain and uh, or conditions within JavaScript. Okay, again we have been using this in previous languages as well. Um, comparative operators basically compare the value of two operands. They, they directly compare the two values. Whereas logical operators we use to evaluate two different conditions. If condition A becomes true and condition B becomes true, then what should happen? So in certain types of programming, we are bound to face within multiple conditions. Okay, so uh, it evaluates the two different conditions, and based on those conditions, make a decision. In terms of previous example, comparison operators compare two different values, okay, or two different operands, value A, value B. However, when we talk about logical operators, it compares two different conditions: condition A, condition B. Condition A is true, condition B is true. Then what should happen? If condition A is false, if condition B is true, what should happen then? Okay. So in certain scenarios, in certain situations, we come across 
that we need to do a detailed multi-level comparison. That if A, if this happens, then that happens, then that happens. In that case is what should happen. Okay? So we do not evaluate the direct value, but we value, evaluate various conditions. In that case, we use AND operator, OR operator, and NOT operator. AND operators are basically very strict. In this case, both the conditions need to be true. Once both the conditions are true, only then it would become true for the further process. If any one of the condition is false, it becomes false. OR operator with a double pipe sign are basically much more relaxed. It means that condition A is true or condition B is true. Any one of the condition is true, then it becomes true. So it requires any one condition to be true. AND is a very strict, it requires both to be true. Similarly, NOT is basically a use to reverse the decision. Okay, So it's a logical NOT that would say that if condition A is true, make it false. If condition B is true, make it false. So it will reverse the decision. Okay. We will use them in further tasks as we go along. So I will show you more examples as we can. Have. Then let's move to something called assignment operators. Again, this is very simple. Uh, we have been using and talking about this uh, in common examples as well. Uh, equals, which basically means we assign the value of A to B. Okay, So X equals 5 means 5 has, is a value that is assigned to X. X equals Y means X value has been assigned to Y. So it's a simple equals to operator. Plus equals to is basically an assignment and add operator. So basically what you do is you do addition as well as assignment in a single step. For example, we come here, C plus A means that C is equals to C plus A. So we what we do is we say that uh, assign the add the value of C with A and then assign it back to C. Similarly, minus equals to, again, same thing. You In a one line, we write that uh, add subtract the value of C from A and assign it back to C. Similarly, multiply equals to and divide equals to. So all these basically are four operators. Uh, we tend to, we do not use them very commonly, but they are available. Plus equals to something that you would find more commonly used in various different expressions. Similarly, percentage equal to means that take the remainder from C to divide by A and assign the answer to your uh, C value. Okay. So uh, these are basically assignment operators that we tend to use. Most commonly is basically the equals operator that we use uh, as we go along. Finally speaking, the conditional operators. The conditional expression is basically we use to evaluate if condition is true with respect to uh, certain expressions okay so for example uh, if condition is true question mark then value of x x simulation otherwise value of y okay so this is how basically we do the evaluation so we write a conditional statement if the condition is true then x is executed otherwise the value y is executed so in one line basically these expressions are evaluated they are more similar to if and else and i will be just talking more about them when we go into if and else as well so in this case, we just simply say that if condition, which is again evaluated based on the conditional statements or logical statements, if the answer is true, question mark, then it, it should be either x value or colon y value. Okay. So if condition is true, it, the value will be y. If the condition is false, it will go to the next value. Simple as that. Okay. We will be doing more examples and hopefully we'll try to elaborate these things as we go along. So these are various different conditional operators that we use, uh, or assignment operators, logical operators. And similarly, comparison or what we call arithmetic operators within JavaScript. Uh, I will be giving examples of these as in the next classes as we go along. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you are for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is Dr. Shambhadi. See you around.